Now that the interaction between Amonatori and Artemisia has been fixed, making it so that Artemisia's self-skill damage will trigger Amonatori's AoE damage, exactly how good is she in the open field? In this video, we're going to do a ton of testing. Heck, I've even got some Gilgamesh testing as well. Ooh, and those results are pretty spicy. So stick around in this video to see exactly how much better Amonatori and Artemisia have become. Hello, my friends, and welcome back. I'm Chiskel Gaming, and in this video, sponsored by the makers of Rise of Kingdoms, I'm going to showcase exactly how much better Amonatori and Artemisia became now that they have fixed the relationship between the active skill of Artemisia and the triggered revenge damage that Amonatori will do. Now, just to make sure everybody knows what was fixed here, it used to be really weird where Artemisia would do her own active skill, which does skill damage to herself. And that would somehow trigger the cooldown from a Monitori in her fourth skill, making it so that she would do normally some skill damage back, uh, but it would trigger the cooldown without doing the damage. There was something weird going on, and that's just all fixed now. So theoretically, all of the reports that we saw previously would be better. And in fact, from the testing that we did, on average, it seems like the reports have improved by about 1,000 to 2,000 sev wounds, and we'll go through all of these reports and the testing methodology so you can see that. Also, there is a huge jump in performance between Amonatori and Artemisia versus Attila and Takeda, commanders that didn't do any skill damage whatsoever because Amonatori basically was getting no benefit from this skill whatsoever. So very briefly, just to review the way that I like to test, I like to do this in an Ark of Osiris practice match. No city skin, no commander tab, no token buffs. Uh, the talents are the same throughout all the testing, and I'll have talents at the end of the video, and no equipment when we test. Now, there's an argument to be made that equipment does change the results, and there's really no doubt about that. In fact, the thing that changes the results the most from equipment, in my estimation, is specifically the accessories and specifically the Horn of Fury. That is because for certain rage engine-based commanders, generating extra rage really gets off the chain. So, for example, for a pair like XY with Chandra, you can generate so much rage when you add in a Horn of Fury that you actually can have the bonus damage that Chandra Gipta gives for the next skill cycle with XY as well. So Chandra Gupta's active skill gives 40% increased damage. You can generate rage so fast with the XYC combo if you have a Horn of Fury that you actually get the benefit of that rage for uh, XY's next active skill. I mention all of this because there's no equipment in this testing. It's just to compare to the previous time and see how much better is a monitory with Artemisia anyways. So for each of these reports, I'm going to put a picture of last week's battle that was sort of the equivalent pairings that we did, just so you can see exactly what changed week over week. And look, there is definitely randomness that takes place here. I mean, you really can't look at one battle report and assume that's what reality looks like. That's why we ran these tests at least twice, which is still not really enough, but uh, the cavalry were really just wrecking a Monitori and a Marty Artemisia. And a part of the reason that that's the case is that I have the cavalry special unit. I am Germany. So is Osho. Everybody should probably be Germany between KVKs to train more troops. And I'll have a card up in the top where you can see some videos explaining the best civilization choices to make. So I am getting a little bit of extra benefit from the special unit here. 25,000 to 40,700. I mean, that's a pretty hefty win, but not all that different from the sort of win I was getting before, 24 and a half to 41,000. These are about the same, but improved by about a thousand or so from kind of where we were before. Amonatori and Artemisia doing slightly better, but really not designed to deal with cavalry. And that is, of course, because of the skills that are on Amonatori. If we just get a quick look at her second skill, she's taking 5% extra damage from cavalry, that's not so good. She is definitely weak to cavalry. And one of the biggest takeaways from this video should be very simply that if you have calves and you see a Monotori, go hunt her down. That's what you're supposed to do. In the next set of reports, we compared the Guan Leo to how we did previously. In this report, it was 31,600 sevs for the Guan Leo. 
to the 25,200 for the Amanatori combo. It won. Uh, when we ran that again, 32,800 to 23,900. Amanatori and Artemisia handling this really amazing open field combo very well. Again, this he sort of keys back to the skills here, which is that she's going to do 5% extra damage to infantry. So if you are the Amanatori Artemisia player, you want to hunt infantry. That's your goal. And of course, you're using archers anyways, but this really exaggerates the countering effect by a quite significant margin. So now the next set of reports are really weird. And this is a combo so subject to randomness that I actually think it's very good uh, as a combo to use. But the Alexander the Great Herald combo is just very tough to test to get a consistent result because here you can see 28,900 to 20,000. By the way, there is so much skill damage that this combo does. It actually triggers the Amanatori revenge damage very frequently. Here you can see again, however, this time the Alexander the Great Herald combo won. So this is an infantry combo that beat archers, even though Amanatori is designed to slay infantry. 26,000, basically 27,000 to 28,300. So I'm showing this in part to illustrate the randomness, in part to just uh, highlight the fact that although Amanatori can hunt down some infantry, the instant proc damage from Alex and Harold can really swing a fight very, very quickly. Now, the next set of reports are the real moneymaker. This is probably what you may recall from the last time around was so savage, I literally put it on the thumbnail and I put it on the thumbnail for this video as well to showcase just how much the improvement was against combos that don't do any skill damage. This is the combo that is most affected by the bug that we saw before with the interaction of Amanatori and Artemisia. There was an improvement here of about 10,000 Sev wounds, but Attila Takeda is still absolutely dominating Amanatori and Artemisia. It's really very bad for that archer combo. 41,100 to 67,500. I mean, if you are a Cav player, hunt down the Amanatori Artemisia. We ran that combo again just to showcase how strong that was. 42,000 to 66,000. There's just no question about it. Uh, it's definitely better than it was. It's not a disaster like it was before, but it's still really bad for the archers. So Attila Takeda players, hunt this combo every time you see it on the field, and uh, sorry for outing you archer players who want to use that combo. Now, Ramses and Esong is a very powerful pair. This is a combo I've been recommending for a very long time. In fact, I used it extensively myself, and I've got to say it performs very well here. 24,900, almost 25,000 to uh, about 31,000. I mean, I mean, Maybe extending the results a little bit there. It was exactly 24,900 to 30,900. Uh, so there's about a 6,000 sev wound differential here. Ramsey's Esong does very, very well in the open field. And although Amanatori and Artemisia will do more AoE damage, uh, the Ramsey's does have some debuffs that are really crucial. In fact, it's worth mentioning that pretty much all Amanatori and Artemisia do is AoE damage. Now, again, the reason I run these tests more than once and I try to show you multiple results here is that I ran the test again and the results flipped, which was fairly surprising. And I ran the results again and the results flipped back. 26,400 or 500 to 28,000, almost uh, 29,000. So there definitely is a lot of variability, especially given how much randomness some of these commanders have. Uh, that is certainly worth mentioning when you look at these results. I also, for memes, ran this combo of Ramsey's El Cid, which actually did a lot better than you might have expected. 28,500 to 24,600. I mean, the Amanatori Artemisia is definitely the superior combo, but I just wanted to see, like, if I ran, I ran El Cid, how would it do with Ramsey's? And the answer was just okay. I think part of the problem is that the El Cid's instant proc damage is actually having the potential to activate Amanatori's revenge damage, which is not good <laughs> for the El Cid combo. Now, Cortex did a bunch of testing as well with Gilgamesh, which we didn't have last time around. And I want to show you how Gilgamesh performs, and we can even compare to the Ramses Esong with a Gilgamesh Esong combo. And, well, let me just pull up some of these reports. Now, it's worth mentioning that Cortex, my guy, is only VIP 17. So these tests are run with 
210,000 troops instead of the 230,000 that we've seen in all the other reports, but he does have the maxed out Gilgamesh. This is 22,100 to 26,900 using Gilgamesh Esong, and this is actually a Ramses Gilgamesh combo. So uh, I forgot that toward the tail end of things, these guys started testing some other combos just to see kind of how they would perform. And I think that Osho has not actually maxed his Gilgamesh, so that certainly makes a difference. I think that in general, you want the Gilgamesh to be the primary because you want to reduce the health of the target and then do a ton of damage. But because both Ramses and Gilgamesh do a debuff, the ordering of those two is uh, more dependent on the talent trees that you would prefer than I think the debuff order that you would want to sort of apply those in. Looking to the next report, here is Gilgamesh Esong against Gilgamesh with Ramses. And again, the Gilgamesh is not maxed on Osho's side. 22,600 to 26,600. Uh, Gilgamesh and Esong is just very strong, but it's hard to say because the second Gilgamesh was not maxed, right? Looking at the next report here, Cortex ran an XY Saladin against the archers, and it won handily. Keep in mind that Cortex is not a cavalry civilization. I don't know why. Cortex, don't you want to be Germany for troop training? Don't you need troops? But uh, also, he's got an unmaxed Saladin and an unmaxed XY, and he's not Germany, and it still is just, it's just slaying those archers, man. So the next report here we're going to get a look at is Gilgamesh Esong against Amanatori Artemisia. Back to business here. 24,500 to 25,000. This actually is very close with the Gilgamesh Esong. I'll point out that when you compare Ramses Esong to Gilgamesh Esong, there is a lot more utility from the Gilgamesh. He is going to make the target take 15% more skill damage. And if you're using Gilgamesh, you should obviously be hunting the targets that heal because those targets are going to take some extra damage. The next report that we've got here is another run back of that combo, and it's very close. 25,666 to 25,536. So Gilgamesh with Esong barely winning. I think that the Ramses with Esong is a stronger pair. It's not surprising. I mean, Ramses just has more skills for the open field. The reason you use Gilgamesh over Ramses is just for the extra utility uh, that you're getting from the extra debuff, the blood craving debuff, right? And that just makes sense that that would be the case. Three more reports from Cortex. More Gilgamesh Esong, 23,900 to 25,960. A very close report. Yet again, one more. Now we're using Nebu. Now, Nebu brings March speed. And I, I sort of might have expected Nebu to outperform the Esong. And maybe in Season of Conquest with the diminishing returns on attack, that might be the case. But I've got to say... Esong outperformed the Gilgamesh Nebu, which I thought was really surprising. 27,100 to 21,800. And that's Osho winning with the Amanatori combo. Whereas, I mean, Gilgamesh Esong was just winning a bunch. And we look over here, same story. I mean, Nebu is losing to the Amanatori combo, whereas Esong was winning. I, I feel like. When I made that video talking about how Gilgamesh with Esong could be really good in a murder ball, and then you put Nebu with Tamaris of all things, I think that actually could be shockingly good, uh, bringing all of that utility that you want. I mean, the target is going to be taking 45% more skill damage from Tamaris and 15% more skill damage from Gilgamesh and have a 30% health reduction, which is insane from the Gilgamesh. And because of Esong generating extra rage on the second skill, probably you could get Gilgamesh Esong to apply the health debuff before all your marches fire off. I mean, there's just so much that could go so right with that, that like you just blow things up with one complete skill cycle. Man, if you want to watch that video, card is up in the top. Definitely go and check that out. I can recommend it. You just hit the little info button there. All in all, I've got to say that Gilgamesh is, first of all, I think going to be promising in the field, uh, but we got to do some full testing with this commander and really focus in on all the different combos like we've done with the Monitorian and Artemisia. By the way, if you want to see that, leave a comment down below so that I know that's something you would want me to make a dedicated video for. The only reason that these videos are later than I would normally release them is because I was battling in KVK on my restart for like the last week. It's been really intense, ton of videos. 
They're all going to be in my restart playlist, which is just like, man, it, there's a ton in there, but I'll have a card up in the top for that playlist if you want to check that out as well. Uh, the conclusions I'll draw, however, about Amanatori and Artemisia is that they are very, very strong in the field. I, I think they are going to be really, really good as a pair in the field. And the only weirdness I have about this combo is that you also want to garrison with an Amanatori primary. So I guess that even though Artemisia primary did not perform as well, you might just end up using Artemisia primary, Amanatori secondary in the field so that you don't have to constantly change your build around when you want to garrison with the Amanatori primary, which I think should almost certainly be the case. And I mean, we'll go and do our testing in garrison as well to make sure that Amanatori outperforms as the primary there. But I think that is almost certainly going to be true with all the skill damage taken reduction she's going to offer. To have the Artemisia as the secondary is probably the play. And like, the support tree is just so strong. It's so strong for field, and it's, I think, strong for Garrison. And I think the Rage engine you're getting from that support tree, and this is a big reason that this combo is so viable, is going to make it so that you're firing off your skills very, very frequently. I think you would absolutely want a Horn of Fury on this combo because Amanatori can't be silenced. And Artemisia, when she normally does her self-silence, is giving you potentially some bonus damage instead. So the faster you fire off your active skills, not only does that play into the benefit of Rage Engines just getting more insane, which they do, uh, and the damage boost that you get just really elevates very, very quickly. The more Rage you generate, the better off you are and the more damage you'll deal. But uh, the more you're firing off her active skills, the more chances you have for Artemisia to give a 50% all damage boost. Oh my god, that is just insane. So... I think that the Amanatori primary really is the way to go. And if you enjoyed this video, throw a like on here. Leave that comment for other testing videos you'd like to see. And if there's any other conclusions you drew from watching this, definitely let me know down below in the comments. And until next time, you have fun smashing the kingdom.